next, Accountable Care Organizations, or ACOs. This is another thing, a client of ours, Bertha, no last names, beautiful woman, came into our office the other day and she said, what's this bill, hon? Shouldn't I have, no. With the ACOs, you are now getting facility fees and you are getting hospital bills. Very, very, very good friend of mine, Kathy so-and-so, came in with a bill. She's like, I went to a walk-in clinic. Get ready for these changes. Accountable care organizations are large volumes of hospitals and doctor's offices merging together to form an ACO or an accountable care organization model. And therefore, the reimbursements, the readmittance rates, the number of mammographies they do, the number of wellness checkups they do, CMS, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, are driving all the reimbursement rates now for coordination of care. And the coordination of care has to be better for you. Before, the hospitals just got paid by the insurance companies for a claim. Now with the Affordable Care Act, the ACOs are merging. As you can see, Franklin Medical Group, Scoville Medical Group, St. Mary's Hospital, soon to be Trinity Health Group. These are all merging where the outpatient facilities, the urgent care facilities are all owned by one ACO. They're no longer standalone. Dr. Franco Galasso is no longer Franco Galasso. Dr. Tom Gnidic is no longer Dr. Tom Gnidic. They're all part of an ACO. Um, is this good? Yes, it's good for you. Is it bad? Yes, unfortunately it's bad for you because you will be getting more fees. Every time you see a physician now, every time they check your x-ray, there's another fee. It's no longer just a copay. Are we working on SB 811? Yes, we are. SB 811, I've discussed it several times on the show, is um, the right to get the um, facility fee. I try, I try to explain this. If you're not getting the word facility fee, let's just say a bill. SB 811 is saying that the facility fee, because you went to the Coumadin Clinic and the Coumadin Clinic is owned by Waterbury Hospital, you're now getting a facility fee. But in layman's terms, what this really means is you're getting another bill. That's what that means. So you have to ask questions. You must call my office. And every time I say this, my girls cringe. God, what? how much more can they call? We really do appreciate your calls and you need to ask questions because if you don't have an insurance agent who's working his butt off in these times, I'm right now a little mad at my property and casualty agent who has my workman's comp on the building. It's with a great company, Travelers. But I do not see my agent. I haven't seen my agent in years. I keep getting a rate increase. And I'm saying to myself, in these economic times, you should be hustling for my business. Your insurance agent should be there to answer your questions when you need it because you are going to have questions. Am I going to get a facility fee? Is this an ambulatory surgical center? The answer now, the fabulous Nautilus Valley Surgical Center, I don't believe, and you can check with them at 203-755-6663, and any, anyone you talk to over there is intelligent. The fabulous Nautilus Valley Surgical Center is now owned by St. Mary's Hospital. So I think it lost, and my staff will confirm for next show, I think it lost its independent status as an outpatient ambulatory surgical center. I think it's now owned by St. Mary's, so therefore it's billed as a hospital um, visit, which is actually disturbing because we see the bills on our end and we see angry people, all right? Uh, what is all this? It's called use of coordinated care. Medicare is expanding a major experiment this time to strive to keep seniors healthier by coordinating basic medical care, preventive. It's not preventative, it's preventive. So you need to get your mammography, your pap and pelvic exam for you ladies, your prostate screening, your PSA screening, your annual checkup. If you don't get these items, then the facilities are not going to get their CMS reimbursement properly. All right, so the total number of accountable care organizations in around here will be calling you. you. I've heard people call me and say, I don't want them calling me anymore. They have to call you to get you to go get your preventive or they don't get reimbursed. And then 
they don't get paid. So it used to be before they would just get paid as you went to the doctor. All right?